in trying to fill in the missing premise, because our assumption's been, gee, let's try to make this the best argument. We don't just uh, that we can in favor of um, the position that abortion is morally wrong. So we see something is missing, a principle's missing, and let's just rewind for a second. And we decided to use this form of inference, modus ponens, or the direct reasoning using conditionals. That's what we've been calling this form of inference. So we ended up with a premise now, number two, if abortion kills a human being, then it's, it, abortion is wrong. And you might say, well, why is this one true? Maybe it works in this case, in others it might not. But maybe there's another another inference that we want to look at. Namely, maybe it's a predicate logic inference, our basic direct reasoning in predicate logic. X is an A, all A's are B's, therefore X is a B. So if we fill it in, you know, abortion is an act that kills human beings. All acts that kill human beings are acts that are morally wrong, so abortion is morally wrong. So the idea is perhaps this is a better way of understanding, or another way of adding an implicit premise that will help make the argument that we're looking at a better argument and maybe a, a more fair interpretation of the argument. And at least we see now that we've made a valid argument. And the nice thing even about adding the premise is that we see in deciding if it's a good argument or if it's bad, we know the conclusion follows, so the only thing we need to do is examine whether the premises are or are not true.